I had messages waiting to be played. I'll play them. You have three messages. Hey, Collard, it's me, your favorite editor. Uh, guess what? I'm going to give you a second chance. I need somebody to write the TV column. Always when they need hey, something. Lousy. So what's new? If you're interested, drop by the office. In fact, drop by the office anyway. We have to talk, Nico. That story of yours I spiked. It won't go away. You've made some dangerous enemies out there. Hey, Nico, it's your old pal. I mean, your new pal, George. Real smooth, oh, George. So smooth. <laughs> it's a whole different country. And I got some amazing news for you. Gem of a story, in fact. Oh, oh. Gotta go. Yeah, fella here's got a drink lined up for me. See you tomorrow, Nico. Slonsha. Yep, only here for a day and I'm speaking the lingo like a local. Mademoiselle Coulard, this is Emel de Carchon. I wanted to thank you for being so understanding when... Come to lunch, why don't you? Tomorrow. I might have more news. There's a Monsieur Merlon coming to see me this evening. He says he knows why Pierre was murdered. In fact, he'll be here shortly. I shall let you know what he says. Goodbye, dear girl. Till tomorrow. Merlin? Oh my god. Merlin's the killer. I better get over there and mourn her now. When it came to being two-faced, Imelda was up there with the best. I owed her nothing. But I couldn't just let her die. Oh, okay. I arrived to find the Palais Royal courtyard deserted. I only hoped that I'd beaten the assassin here. I had to warn Imelda before it was too late. Fix tight. Presumably to stop critics stealing it. Who else would want to? It really does look like a makeshift ladder, though. Uh, I unhooked the first wire. Well, I mean... Should I be doing this? <laughs> I don't know about this. We'll go back to Nico too, here. To what end, Nico? I released the second wire. Even with both wires removed, the statue remained upright. Yeah, but if someone tries climbing it, it's gonna go. Oh, now we can use it as a ladder. I see. If I could deconstruct this, I could deconstruct anything. This murder plot? I feel like we're meant to... I think we're not gonna be able to reach her this way, and we're gonna have to go up that way. I think that's what's happening. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Yep. Locked? No way was I going to break through a door like that. The intercom system wasn't working. Bad sign. Somebody had cut the wire. Just like we did over here. All right, let's, uh, let's make use of your handiwork over here, Nico. The plastic sheet was thick and strong. I'd need more than my hands to tear it. Uh, what have you got? It's been a while. There's that shell casing. Yeah, you don't have a lot of stuff that's useful for... Um, no. Fair enough. The plastic sheet was thick and strong. I'd need more than my hands to tear it. The window had been repaired with industrial plastic sheeting. I really don't have anything for this. Um, no. Yeah. I don't know how... How's the shell gonna do anything? That really is the item that... Of a thousand uses. It's the giving tree item in this game. That shell. I'm sure it's gonna... It's gonna kill the uh, killer. It's gonna save us somehow at the end of the game. I don't know how. Alright, so that's... Yeah, that was already broken and everything. Let's not click on in here. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Let's go check it out. Use the tissue! I wish I had the tissue. My god, I'm too late. <gasps> Is she dead? 
In that... In Melda. Oh, no. In that pose? Nico? Don't worry, you're going to be all right. You know that isn't true. It was Merlin, wasn't it? Dressed as a cavalier. Absurd. You came to warn me, didn't you? I must be crazy. Let me see you, Nico. All this time you were just using me. Which one is the real Imelda? You are an extraordinary girl. Thierry would have been so proud of you. You didn't know my father. So like him. Something about the eyes. I wish we'd had time to get to know each other. Oh, Imelda. She was gone. She cheated me, lied to me, used me. But why? Haven't checked our notes in a while. Let's go all the way to the end. Get all caught up. Now it's Melda's turn to die. Another murder by the costume killer, Molin Horkan. Dress as a cat. Huh. Yeah, police are no use to us. That Irish guy knew. Even in death, Imelda looked the same. Beautiful, inscrutable. The Ice Queen alone in her ice palace. I opened it. Huh. Inside was a tiny gold key. I took the key. I had to leave. I knew I could never return. Well, what's the key go to? It's probably something around here. Nick. Okay. All right. Oh, wasn't this chest always locked? This might be the key for that, actually. The the thing. In the dim yeah, light, this thing. a small, sinister-looking metal disc had been tucked under my father's box. It was a bug. Oh, cher cousine. You left me a little present. Huh. You shouldn't have. My cousin, yeah. <laughs> well, we knew someone had been in our apartment. You don't scare me. Especially. So it heard all those messages being played. All right, so now we can use our the little- The box was one of the few things. The elephant on the lid was a- Yep. All right. All right, little key, don't fail me now. I took out the key. Nice. I couldn't believe it. Imelda's key opened my father's box. I dreaded what I was going to find inside. Mom? It was a photograph oh. of Imelda. <laughs> Imelda? Why here? In my father's box. I mean, maybe it'll... I felt as if a black hole had swallowed me up. Imelda and Carchon grinning. While behind them a village was being razed to the ground. Its people butchered. And there, next to them, staring out at me across the years, my own father... There was a letter. I feared there was even worse to come. Hotel St. Georges, Algiers, Friday. My darling Thierry, by the time you read this, you'll be safely out of Africa. You need not fear. Pierre and the organization do not know who you are really working for, or about us. Did you think I would betray you? I could not. You wanted me to leave him, but I don't have your courage. I know too much of what has been going on here. They would find me and they would kill us both. Enjoy your life in Paris, Thierry. Your life of honor, of patriotic duty. Do they give medals to spies? No, they'll just give you a funny job in an embassy somewhere. I could never share that with you. Imagine me, a diplomat's wife. So I must stay here with Pierre, the two of us bound together by what we have done to this country. Au revoir, my love. You will be in my heart until I die. Imelda. Suddenly everything made sense. My father had been working undercover for the government. He was one of the good guys after all.
He and Imelda must have fallen in love. She'd found out who he really was, so he had to leave. It had broken her heart, but she had never revealed it to anyone. I knew I couldn't either. Whatever he was doing, he'd had good reason to keep it secret. I decided I would respect that and tell nobody. Hmm. So they were in love, but that wasn't, uh, that's not our, okay. What, what about George? Just I knew it was George. Sit there all For night. a moment I was tempted to pretend that I was out. Or ask him to go away and come back later. But then... Come in. Hello, George. What happened in the secret room, George? So, where did you stay last night? At McDevitt's. I got to drinking with Doyle and a couple of the guys. That explains why you look so ill today. <laughs> did you get any sleep at all? Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he snore? Hardly. He was dead. And you say P. Graham has disappeared? Without a trace. But my visit wasn't a complete waste of time. P. Graham's gem? The Templar's gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. What are your plans? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfaucon was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. Let's take another look at the manuscript. All right, we still need a... Uh... A knight with a crystal ball. The knight scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. There's a woman looking at her, but the reflect. We looked at this. There's a guy. Look at them, two guys on the same horse. Oh, it makes me laugh. It's so crazy. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem. And a what tripod. What are your plans? I want to find out who. All I've got to go by. Hmm. Uh, that <laughs> is not a good idea. He's starting to give up on the idea. Hmm. Do you want to look after the gem? No, Josh. I'd be too tempted to sell it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, do you want this photograph back? No, you... Look, Nico. A handful of plaster. It's the little things, yeah. right? Why is it that men never really grow up? What's your problem, sister? <laughs> your pockets stuffed with useless junk like little boys. She's not wrong. You never know when useless junk might come in handy. Spoken like someone in a Sierra game. Hmm. Maybe not. All right. I can't sit here all day, much as I'd like to. Okay. Don't forget to look for Lobby Noah. Like Dennis Leary. Him. And why don't you see if Rosso has heard anything? Okay. Anything else I can do for you while I'm out? Shopping, a trip to the laundromat? <laughs> Just take care of yourself. I so much wanted to talk to George about everything that had happened, but I knew I never could. My father's connection to Africa would have to remain a secret forever. His bravery would be known only to the government and to me. Revealing it would just damage his memory. People would take the story and twist it. Before long, he would be the villain and Carchon would be the hero. I know how they do that. I'm a journalist. Yeah. Fair enough. So we are George now. We have anywhere else to go internationally? Ah, that's nice. They, they exit out when you're done with it, I guess. We are no longer welcome in Ireland. Bridges have been burned. All right, let's see. There's a museum. Police. We haven't even been to the police station. Back to George. We're this guy. Still like that, even though we know his name now. We're still this guy. Come on. Sergeant Moo? Uh, yes. 
Let's see what he knows. Do you know a man named Khan? He's a shifty looking guy with a scar on his left cheek. No, monsieur. He also calls himself Thomas Merlin. I'm sorry, Monsieur Stobart. I don't know him. Has this man any connection with the bombing of the cafe? Yes. I believe Khan was the name he used when he hired the clown costume. How are we getting the gross tissue past customs? That's the question. Have you heard of a man called Marquet? Marquet. Yes. He used to be known as the Mole of Montmartre. I heard he's been hospitalized, probably by huh. one of his rivals. Which hospital was Marquet taken to? The Agenmeyer Clinic in the Avenue des Hérissons. Why was Marquet known as the Mole of Montmartre? Because he lived in Montmartre, I suppose. Yeah, but why the Mole? I don't know. Maybe he ruined people's lawns. Must be it. I'd like to report an assault. Yes, monsieur? Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? Hotel. Outside the Hotel Ubu. Ubu. They stopped me as I was leaving and went through my pockets. Could you describe the suspects, monsieur? One looked like a gorilla, and the other looked like a weasel. Their names are Flap and Guido. <laughs> I'll get them this time. This time? Would you like to shake my hand, Sergeant? Not while I'm on duty, monsieur. The gesture could be misconstrued. I hear ya. Do you recognize this dirty tissue? No, monsieur, I do not. I found it in the sewer. <laughs> Perhaps it would be better if you put it back there. No way. <laughs> this could be an important clue. If you say so, monsieur. I kind of wish that exchange had ended on, I found it in the sewer. We're batting like, like... 10 at this point with this dirty tissue but uh you know what you never know hmm maybe not maybe don't show him the gem hmm i found this red nose in the sewer what were you doing down there getting tissues clues. that's where the clown went getting you still insist you saw a clown monsieur of course and this novelty nose proves it. It will take more than a plastic proboscis to convince Inspector Rousseau. You don't want this as That's evidence. why you're the best. Certainly not, monsieur. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. It's the guy who bombed the cafe. The clown. This man looks nothing like a clown? He's taken off his grease yeah, paint. Use your imagination. Costume. Then there is nothing to link this man with the killing. Nothing? Look at those murderous eyes. Conjecture. Mm, hardly likely to get him convicted. Yeah, you should know that, being a lawyer. Hmm. Maybe not. Mm. Does this matchbook mean anything to you, Sergeant? That's a double line Swedish with a crosshatch Bergman strike strip. Holy hell. That's unusual. Pre-war Anderson hinging. Wow. Really? I haven't seen a reinforced Anderson outside of a private collection. It's rare then? In this part of the world, yes. There are only three places these are made. Taiwan, Manila, and Slough. What do you suppose this tool is used for, Sergeant Moo? It looks like something an obstetrician would use, monsieur. It was with tools like this that the clown made his escape. I don't understand. He opened up the hole and disappeared into the bowels. It's like he's in a courtroom right now. If you now. say so, monsieur. See you later, sergeant. All right, we can go to that hospital now. Can we not? We need to make a call. Let Nico go. Know where we're going? Check in. Hmm. There's supposed to be like a phone interface right here. All right, whatever. I'm gonna assume we don't need it. Did we get the hospital? Hospital. Right. This guy. Probably coming up on the 50% mark. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Really? If you wish to make an appointment, see the receptionist. I'm looking for a guy named Jacques Marquet. In which department does he work? He doesn't. He's a patient. I see. You do realize there are strict policies regarding visiting hours, don't you? This is important. I have to talk to Marquet urgently. We make no exceptions to the rules. It's a matter of life and death. 
The railroad running of this hospital is a matter of life and death. That's true. That's why we have rules. Rules. I think I ought to warn you that Marquet is not what he seems. Explain yourself. He's in league with a bunch of guys who want to take over the world. Nonsense. Besides, Marquet's employers have paid in advance for one of our most exclusive private rooms. Could you tell me who Marquet's employers are? Certainly not. Hmm. What do you make of this tissue, sir? If I were you, I'd have this sample and There you go. Professional opinion. Someone finally taken my tissue seriously. May I have the honor of shaking you by the hand? You may not. I don't encourage physical contact between my staff. That's how we're gonna get the the murderer. I changed my uh, yeah. It's it's gonna be that's gonna be it. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, sir. I do not. Some combination between the shell, Nico's shell, and the hand buzzer. <laughs> That's Does what's going to do, man. powder it. mean anything to you? No, sir. I do not pretend to know the pharmacist's job. Respect that. Do you recognize this red nose, sir? No, I do not. This is a hospital. Not a circus ring. We minister to the sick in body, not the sick in mind. It's a good response, actually. Does this tool mean anything to you? Sacre bleu! That's exactly what I needed in my last operation. It is? Maybe give it a rinse first. I have to improvise with a knitting needle and a couple of corks. If only you'd been on hand at the time. Oh. My patient would have given his right arm for it. <laughs> have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? No, sir. I have not. Does the name Thomas Merlin mean anything to you? No, it does not. Look at this, Doc. It's a genuine medieval type gem. Just showing off now. Yes, so I see. Remarkable. I have to take this gem to Marquet. He might be able to explain its significance. My dear chap, Marquet has other things on his mind right now. Like what? Is catheter for one. Thanks for your help. All right. Let's find out where he is. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Is this the Hagenmeyer Clinic? That's correct. I thought I was in a garden. What is that accent? Oh, the plans. They were my idea. A little greenery to evoke the spirit of nature. Ask about the How accent. How may I help you? You're not gonna ask about the accent. Okay. I'm here to see Jacques Marquet. Oh yes. Are you related to our client, sir? Uh. Yeah, I'm his uh, long lost brother. A brother half his age with a different name and an Maybe you could be convincing. Yeah, people always say that. I blame Mom. We were separated at an early age. After a mix-up in the nursery at the Oakland shopping mall. <laughs> I've never heard anything so ridiculous in all my life. And yet? I guess not. Anyway. So, do I get to see Marquet before the funeral? That attitude will get you nowhere. My instructions were quite clear. No one gets to see Marquet. So unless you can prove you're a relative or a close acquaintance, you're wasting your time here. Has Marquet been visited by a man in a clown costume? Oh, no. You haven't seen a man in She'd disguise? She'd remember that. Well, there's Theodore the Bear. He comes every Thursday oh. to entertain the children. That's nice. Personally, I think he scares them half to death in that crummy old bear suit. Oh. If I was stuck on my back with tubes in every orifice, he's the last person I'd want to see. Has Marquet had a visit from a pair of gangsters? I should hope not. Can you describe them? A thin guy who looks weasel. like a weasel and his friend, the gorilla. Sounds as if they escaped from the zoo. Uh... Can you think of any use for this greasy tissue? Whoa! I guess you could use it to baste a roast turkey. It's disgusting! It's like one of the more... Alright, even that, I had a reaction from that one. What does this false nose remind you of? Oh, it's a clown. Interrogating her. Look at this ID pass. So you're Merlin. Marquet's been asking for you. For me? Yes. He was shouting your name when they brought him in here. 
Now, let me see. Why was that so much louder? The levels are all over the place. B12, as I recall. Oh, 12. he's being transferred to... Oh, dear. He's on Ward J2. That's... Nurse Grendel's ward. <laughs> Ooh, Nurse Grendel. What's so bad about Nurse Grendel? She runs that ward like a South American prison. Keeping a well-disciplined ward isn't a crime, is it? Well-disciplined? In the discipline and punishment stakes, she'd whip the butt off the Marquis de Sade. Everything, I mean everything, is done to a strict routine. Six o'clock, alarm call. Six ten, bowel movements, and woe betide anyone who doesn't have a result. Those patients of hers are like Pavlova's dogs. She sounds like a real nightmare. And then some. If Nurse Grendel is that bad, how come the authorities tolerate her? She's like part of the furniture. <laughs> I was beginning to get the picture. This woman was jealous. With a big green capital J. <laughs> Guess. How do I find Nurse Grendel's ward? Down the corridor on the left. Turn right at the senior consultant's washroom. Right again at the executive coffee lounge. Bear left past the administrator's sauna. And turn left at the end. That's J2. And good luck. Sounds like I'll need it. All right. Check out my gem. What does this gem suggest to you? I advise you not to flash that around. I'd like to shake you by the hand. Don't be fresh, young man. We look like we're about to seem like that much older. Thanks for your help, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, let's see if I can find this. As I turned the corner, I saw the source of the hellish noise which echoed through the corridors. It was an industrial polishing machine with an odd-looking guy in tow. Hi. Hello. What's that? I said, hello. Oh, hi. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. That's what I thought you said. Don't look so down in the mouth. No matter how bad things seem, I never let life get on top of me. Oh, yeah? What's your secret? Why, it's easy. All you have to do is smile and whistle this little tune. You know what? Now we're actually in a you Disney start movie. Whistling, I'll bust you in the teeth. <laughs> that is it's a deal. That's an insane overreaction, George. He seems so kind and genial and everything. It's just he just has like this really short temper. Do you know where I'd find a patient called Marquet? No. I'm not allowed on the wards with Mr. Shiny. Shiny. Have you seen any unsavory characters lurking about in the quarters? No, sir, I haven't. But I've got nothing to worry about. What's that, Mr. Shiny? You'd take good care of the rascals, I will bet you would. With a friend like him, I've no fear of oppressors. It must be a great comfort. He is. Would Mr. Shiny be your <laughs> yeah. polishing machine by any chance? The hell are you talking about? Please, don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. I've had Mr. Shiny for three years, and he's never let me down once. Do we see you banging that thing? How come you got so attached to a polishing machine? I asked you not to call him that. He's got a name, you know. Uh, yeah, Mr. Shiny. It's just that... You think it's odd, don't you? I don't mind. The rest of the staff think I'm twisted. I heard them snorking behind me back when I gave Mr. Shiny his weekly pull through. Uh, you want to expound on that a little bit? Would you like to shake my hand? Not until I've washed, if you don't mind, sir. I don't know. Like, we're 0 for 40 in terms of shaking people's hands. That's just not realistic. There's a couple folks who'd be like, Sure, I'll shake your hand. Do you recognize this power? Don't even ask. Just put your Is hand that out. Dandruff? No way. It sure looks like dandruff. It's plaster. Ugh. Ugh. What does this tissue suggest to you? You have a cold. What you need is vitamin C. Yeah. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Who is it? That's what I'm asking you. Have you seen him before? How should I know? You haven't told me who he is. Take a look at the photo. Yeah. Okay. Now, have you seen him before? No. 
No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later. I'm used yeah. to that. Take care now. Get my hopes up. So we can unplug Mr. Shiny over there. Let's go to game one here. I don't know if there's any reason to do that right now. Maybe if we want to open this door. Hey now. Yep. You can't go in there. How come? I'm responsible for the contents of that cupboard. Probably something we'll need in there eventually, but there's no reason to do it right now. Hey, there's uh, Nurse Grendel. Oh, oui, monsieur. Is this Ward J2? It is, but uh, you're not supposed to be here. We have strict rules about visiting hours. Can't you make an exception? I've come all the way from California. You must speak to the doctor. I can't wait that long. What if he snuffs it? You can't talk like that here. This is a hospital. You will have to leave. Hmm. All right, I'm guessing we need something from that closet. I don't know what it'll be yet. Maybe there'll be like a As I tugged the outfit. plug out of the socket, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Maybe a maintenance man's outfit or something. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Mr. Shiny. I think they got the long cord. All right, go. Why are you waiting for him? Go in. Really? Okay. Got the outfit. Mr. Shiny. I'm one of you now. He doesn't care. <laughs> they don't pay me enough. Good afternoon, doctor. The patients are ready for your inspection, doctor. Uh, thank you, nurse. You'll need this, doctor. Is that is how easy it is to fake a medical license in this stuff? She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. Hell, we faked uh, being an electrician in Ireland. Who says we can't fake being a doctor here in France? Do you have any clowns on the ward? Why, yes, we do. A professional Guy in the clown. bear suit. I'll bet he lightens the place up. Hardly. Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last three months. What's wrong with Boissy? He was involved in a very nasty accident. A silly stunt involving a unicycle. His current condition is due to post-traumatic shock. It's unlikely he'll ever perform as a clown. It's the saddest again. thing I've ever it's heard. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. Do you have a patient named Marquet on this ward? Oh, oui, monsieur. He is in the private room at the end of the ward. He has been placed in strict isolation. Why is Marquet in quarantine? If you wish to know more, you'll have to speak to Herr Hagenmeier. All I know is that Marquet's room is strictly out of bounds. Yeah, we did talk to Hagenmeier. Do you know who paid for Marquet's room? No, of course I don't. Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. Hmm. Huh. What is this device? It's for taking the patient's blood pressure, doctor. <laughs> no follow-up questions like, why the hell don't you know that if you're a doctor? Do you want this, uh... Device for measuring blood pressure? Yeah, do you want it back? No, thank you. Hmm. Would you like to shake hands with me? <laughs> well... <gasps> no, it's okay. Forget it. <sighs> Why even give me the option if you're going to chicken out midway through, George? Damn it. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Well, what seems to be the problem, Mr. Blockmeyer? What was this guy's name? Hello? Anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. No doctor would ever Dr. say that. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a case of puppy love. <laughs> what can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common squatter. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? 
They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor, what's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three <laughs> months. Just gotta get up and start what's dancing like Grandpa Joe and uh, She's a very Willy Wonka. Efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. I've no complaints. Grandpa Joe was in bed for like 20 years, which incidentally I have some more questions about. But The woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job. Yeah, she doesn't seem that bad. It? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. She didn't exercise a lot of discipline when I asked her what this uh, device was for measuring blood pressure. Oh, well. Uh, no. That would probably kill him. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. More convincing. Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Does this gem mean anything to you? No, Doctor. Why are you carrying a gem in your pants? Have you any idea what this is? No, Doctor. I wouldn't even like to guess. What if, like, he licked it and it cured whatever he had? What if the, the, the disgusting sewer tissue we've been carrying around this entire game is the cure for every disease known to man? It's worth thinking about. It's not worth thinking about. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, Doctor. A cold-blooded killer. <laughs> Tell us about his victims again, like he did in the first third of the game. That made me laugh. I'll come back later. Anybody else need? I guess he's the only one. All right, let's let's go ask uh, Ho Hoopa Dyer or whatever his name was, the the main doctor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn minute. That guy looks suspicious. No, talk to the... Oh, yeah, I do see the finger there. It's Fitz. Hi, my name's George Stobart. I know you. Yes, Pleased to meet you, sir. Call me George, if you like. Are you sure? Yeah, that's my name. My name's Benoit, but everyone calls me Benny. Bunny? That's right. I used to have this cute habit when I was a kid. Keep it to yourself, Benoit. <laughs> Man, that car must have hit you really hard if you think your name's Bunny now. You ended up in Paris Do you know Paris anything somehow. about a patient named Marquet? And no, sir, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. Uh, I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. Hmm. Do you know the nurse on Ward J2? No, miss. This is my first day here. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking Just about expression. my first patient, of course. I didn't mean to get my hands dirty with a nurse. Oh. Shut up, Benoit. Okay, sir. Shut up, Benoit. I can't get a read on George's personality. I'm trying so hard. All right, this guy, he's got to do anything I say. He'll shake my hand. Shake my hand, Benoit. I don't think that's a good idea, sir. How come? Dermatitis. I don't have dermatitis. I do. <laughs> I don't have dermatitis. I do. That's fantastic. All right, let's get a doctor's opinion on this. What does this tissue mean to you? Is that a nasal discharge? Damn no? right, no. Benoit. It's grease paint. Oh. Well, damn right, Bunny. Yeah, that's your uh, that's your diagnosis. You need some more time. Does this gem mean anything to you? Not me, sir. Do you recognize? No, Monsieur. Yeah, I think we could start. Does this false? I no, it. I don't think he knows anything Have else. Have you ever heard of? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Have you ever heard? No, sir. No, sir. Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. Okay. Hopefully that was all right. What does this tool suggest to you? Isn't that used to snap the patient's ribs? And exploring the abdomen? I think he might be a worse doctor than I am somehow, and I'm a lawyer. See you later. Right. Right. Didn't ask him about the plaster, but... 
Excuse me, sir. Aha! Just the man. You must be the new boy. We just... Uh, yeah, we I just talked. Be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bunny! Is that all it took in the 90s in he Paris to convince people you're a doctor? Name. The coach? Can I trust you to look after him? Heck no. Do your own babysitting, Gramps. <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyhow? <laughs> I am Felix Hegenmeyer. And... May I say what an honor it is to meet you we in person, already had this exchange. You are on my medical wall of fame. Right up there with Pastor and Leary. I look on it as a privilege. No, an honor to look after you. Gonna need that tissue to wipe off that is brown on your nose after this, George. It will open his eyes to see a real Dr. Ramsey job. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Okay. All right, see you and me, Bunny. Let's get to work. Do I have to, like, tell him that he's coming with me? I lost him already. Wait, did he just show up? It's creepy. Bunny! Hey, Benoit! Yes, sir? Now I'm on the left. That's a nice detail. Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Ah, oh, yes. What do you want me to do with it? Keep it safe until I... Do you know what this white pal... No, sir. No, sir. All right. Follow me, Benoit. Follow me, buddy. I'm right behind you, sir. You're not. You're going the exact opposite way I'm going, but I'm sure you'll show up. Nevertheless. Yeah, I'm sure he'll pop out. There he is. All right. Pardon me, nurse. Got a trainee. Breaking so many laws right now. Would you like to shake hands with me? Well... No, it's okay. Never mind. Do you recognize... No, I don't. It looks like <laughs> a chronic health risk to me. Well, I've been carrying it around for days, and I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does this gem mean anything to you? It's beautiful, but I've never seen it before. Oh, look at her eyes widen at the sight of that gem. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No. All right, we've been through all this. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. All right, maybe uh, maybe we can get the trainee to take this guy's blood pressure the right way. Hi, it's me again. He should know how to do that at least, right? Do you recognize... Doesn't that belong? No, I found it in a sewer. He's a clown, you know. You wouldn't think so to look at him now, would you? I'll come back. Hey, Benoit! Yes, sir? Do you still have that gate? Oh, yeah. Take this, guys. Use it on Nurse Grendel. Oh. Huh? Go on, she'll enjoy it. Well, okay. Dr. Stobart? Yeah? I would appreciate it <laughs> if you saved your jokes for the intern's restroom. This is a hospital ward, not a cabaret. Oh, lighten up. I heard that. Any more nonsense and I shall report you to Dr. Hagenmeyer. So that's your limit. Uh, really? That's... Yeah, that was a shot in the dark. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Follow me, Benoit. I'm right behind you, sir. Hi. It's me. Have you ever heard of... No, I'm not... I'll come... Take this guy's blood pressure. Hey, Benoit. Yes. Do you still have that... Oh, ah, yeah. yes. This guy. Use it on nurse... Huh? Go on. She'll enjoy it. Well, okay. Dr. Stobart? Yeah? I would appreciate it if you saved your jokes for the intern's restroom. This is a hospital ward, not a ca- Oh. I <sighs> Follow me, but I'm right behind- What am I missing? Maybe I need to be on the right side. You haven't finished taking my blood. All right, right, there it is. We got there. Will you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure properly. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? I like that. It's because he's got money. Well, yes. I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. Oh. I like, though, that uh, this guy needs help. I like no one's tending to him. I like all of a sudden this guy's so concerned with getting his blood pressure taken earlier. He's like, why do we need to take my blood pressure? Hi. All right, let's, I'll come let's back. call our, 
our guy over. Hey, Ben Yes, sir. Do you still... Oh, yeah. There we Use go. Use it on Eric Sopmarsh. Okay. Eric Sopmarsh. All right, while he's doing that, it's probably something we can do. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, Doctor. Seen have you seen any suspicious characters on the ward? Yeah, I have. A gorilla and a weasel? No. This was a tatty old bear. How was the bear acting suspiciously? Well, he was wearing a homburg. Is that against the law? No, but it's pretty weird for a bear. True. Looks like he would have been in Tintin, that guy. Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine, Doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet is just the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He has. Anthrax. Anthrax. I have to visit my patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed as vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, I've been institutionalized to the point of godlike aloofness. <laughs> the white coat. Yeah, suits you need it. Thanks. It's kind of part of the gig. Makes sense. Uh, do I need to like show you something? Can I just catch you later? Au revoir. All right, cool. There he is. Oh my God. Let's go. Marquet. Yes. I am Marquet. I Looks like he was bludgeoned, Malcolm Corley have? style. What are you waiting for? Get. It over with. I just want to know what I should do with the jam. The Lachmar jam? Yeah, right here in my pocket. Oh, oh, I thought you were one of the assassin. Pick it. I know you're very close to death, but can you pick it up a little Not bit? me. I never inhaled. So, you were sent in my place? Uh, yeah. You could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster. Quickly tell him that I have found the tripod <laughs> right here in Paris. You have it? Not yet, but it's being taken care of. I I heard a couple of stooges. Huh. With a flair for Betty Crime. I know the two. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You Paris's greatest no comedy team. As for Klaus there, uh, he has gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? He, he uh, has a theory about the location of the... That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If he hadn't my office to hear that. Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Oh, there you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. Thank you. Thanks, much. Bunny. What that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. <gasps> it's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Braille. Braille? There's no Dr. Braille working here. There's no doctor. He's doc an imposter. <laughs> How did I slip through? The door's locked. Help me, officer. Stand back, monsieur. Too late. Damn. Hello, George. I found Jacques Marquet. 
Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead? Yeah. Killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? Was it Khan? No. I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away. I'm just ignoring the him. irony of that question. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Don't remind me. That guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. No facial scar. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. It wasn't so. him. He could have finished him off the first time. Yeah. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. Yeah. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not. All right, I'm not going to look at that again. I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one, Rosso or Sergeant Mu? <laughs> oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let you work it out. <laughs> Got a lot of weirdos on our docket here. Uh, back to the museum. I mean, he mentioned it was right here in Paris. We didn't make a lot of headway before. Let's get a save going here. Game one. Let's get a check on our percentage progress by the way 52 that's it all right roughly halfway through the game thanks for watching and don't forget to like and comment on this video and click subscribe if you haven't already as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you